So, I was nice enough to share my Ash build with everyone online the other day, thinking, hey, this is a great idea, you know? I love Ash, he's kind of my main Warframe, and I put six Forma into him. And do you know what they said? Do you know what they told me? And I quote, you mod your Ash like a special needs child. So... Let's just spawn 20 130 leveled enemies in and see what they have to say about it. Special needs now. Who the fuck? On a more serious note, you guys, I absolutely love Ash. Uh, he is quite possibly my favorite, absolute favorite Warframe. He's just super cool. He's not necessarily my best Warframe, but he always gets the job done, and he's just super. He looks amazing, and he's really fun to play as. So I'm gonna run you guys through his abilities now. I'm gonna show you guys his abilities on level 40 enemies, just so I can kind of chill out and show you guys at a leisure rate, but his first ability are throwing stars where you essentially throw out two homing shurikens and they basically inflict enemies with a bleed proc, uh, which is really nice, uh, causes them to take damage over time and slices right through their armor, it's super fantastic. His second ability throws down a smoke grenade and will cloak you for the duration of the power and on top of that it will also stun nearby enemies when you use it so I'll wait for the cloak to deactivate and then use it again here and as you can see it kind of stuns them for a second uh, giving you an open window to escape this is really nice to buy yourself some breathing time it's not nearly as long or effective as Loki's invisibility power but it is really nice for getting myself out of a jam his B button or his third power which is by far the most useful you want an augment mod for this one it essentially teleports you to the target and leaves them open to a melee finisher which is this here where you go into sort of an execution animation it leaves them vulnerable to that for the first few seconds after you teleport to them however if you equip the augment mod fatal teleport which I have done a video on and I'll leave a link to it in the description below it'll cause you to instantly do a melee finisher without needing to like press a melee button or run up to them or do anything it just automatically does it and it does it for 250% of the finisher damage I believe it, it is just I mean look at this look at that it, it one shots those level 130 enemies I spawned in pretty much anything else with ease depending on your melee Last but not least, his ultimate ability, Blade Storm. You activate it, and you then sweep your reticle over targets, thus putting a white sort of tick above their head, letting you know that's how many times you've targeted them. You can target them up to three times per target, and then upon reactivating the ability, you will teleport around, doing a finisher to all enemies that were marked. This does a ton of bleed damage looks really cool unfortunately it does force you into a cinematic camera so you can't do much while you're using it but are invincible while you're using that power so if you find yourself about to die and you tag a couple targets and do that it can buy you some breathing time especially if you have rejuvenation you do still heal while you are in this animation and on top of that if you have equilibrium and a carrier or really any sentinel with vacuum it also helps because as you teleport around 
to assassinate targets, you will pick up any items that were around them when you teleported to them. So equilibrium comes in handy there for survivability on your Ash, because as you teleport around, you can pick up energy orbs and health orbs while killing enemies doing that, and then you will get vice versa. I'd like to note that his ultimate consumes less energy if you are stealthed first while you're using it. Top it all off, Ash has a pretty kick-ass passive. Bleed effects inflicted on enemies do more damage and last longer. That's where the throwing stars come in handy, deal a ton of damage there, and he's just really fun to play as. And I will show you my Ash build now that everyone was so keen to talk crap on online the other day. I have Rejuvenation, Vitality, Steel Fiber, Prime Continuity, Vigor, Fleeting Expertise, Equilibrium, Fatal Teleport, and Redirection. Now, they said uh, it's too many survivability mods for their taste, but that was kind of my whole point. I wanted just the tankiest Ash I could get because a lot of people build their Ash to just be like, oh, stealthy and sneak around, but... Uh, I was like, fuck it, I want an Ash that can be in people's faces, take some hits, and uh, really dish out some damage. I don't really need any power strength mods, because usually if an enemy is giving me that hard of a time and I can't kill them with my guns or melee, I'll just use Fatal Teleport. Yeah, 200% extra damage, and if I kill the enemy with the attack, it refunds 50% of the energy I used to cast the power. So... It's honestly, it's just super energy efficient. I'm also Xenuric. For those of you who don't know what that means, I regen 4 energy per second during missions after using my focus ability, so I don't really need that many efficiency mods. I just have fleeting expertise in there to kind of give me a little more efficiency. But yes, this is my Ash build. Uh, I could even get a little Exilis mod up there if I really wanted to put a 7th Forma in my Ash, but god, I have yet to do that. That's a ton of work. Anyways, you guys, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you guys have a kick-ass day. I will see you in the next one. Peace!